Whether you like your coffee hot, cold, dark, or not at all, this is going to be the show for you. Conversations over coffee. Critically tasting and flavor memory, those are the two things that you need to practice. So if you can notice a difference between, like if you order two coffees, say, that, and you notice a difference between them, that's great. That's the first step. Um, you know, discernment. Then remembering what that tastes like, remembering what it feels and smells like, that's another key thing. And then find analogs for that. So that, you know, the more you start to eat a vegetable, or a fruit or whatever and remember what that sugar tastes like and that acid feels like. You'll be able to draw on that. So it's tasting everything critically. Then it's a matter of practice. Um, I mean, I have tasted thousands and thousands and thousands of copies and I remember most of them. And that's, that's a, you know, but it, it didn't start out that way. Like my first three years, I don't really remember much. There are a few that are just like very loud memories, but everything else, um, you know, it, it really, you have to build a catalog so you can hang things on. Um, but like, yeah, all the coffees I bought over the last three years, I remember um, tasting them over over a period of a year from when they were first processed up when they landed. So that's awesome. Do you, do you have that same uh, muscle, almost muscle memory with other foods or drinks, or is it so pretty much? With coffee? I mean, it's it. it you find that the more you use that, yeah, it kind of just, yeah, it just kind of leaks over to everything else. Yeah, yeah, which is really cool for you know cocktails or wine or whatever whatever you're into. Because uh-huh. um, I think that it can open up a lot more enjoyment because you discover nuance and what you really really like, and that's really neat.